for uh, special senses. So look at the histology. And we're going to start with gustation, taste, and what we're looking at, so you can see up here, you're looking at the whole papilla there. So you can see that whole mountain, right, or hill, all the way up and around. And there are different, microscopically you can see different, um, the different types of the papilla, but um, we will not be doing that, okay? So not microscopically. On the model, yes, not microscopically. But what you do want to notice is just the general shape. This is probably um, a better slide than what we'll have, and you probably will be zoomed in. But you do see individual taste buds, and the hairs, the microvilli hairs, would be coming out of this pore here. So this is a taste pore, and there you want to know the three different kinds of cells. Okay, so the basal cell, supporting cell, and the receptor cell. Okay. Perfect, we're moving on. Next slide, we're gonna look at next olfactory. So the olfactory epithelium is PCCE. So that's what you're gonna generally be looking for with, the, um, with olfactory. So you can see it up there, look at the shag up at the top. Well that shag carpet up at the top, those are actually, those are the chemo receptors. So those are the olfactory receptors that are going to be detecting the, the odorants of smell. So that's what you're seeing up there. But all the cells, all three cells are there. There's the stem cells, okay, sorry, the basal cell, the transitional cell, and then the olfactory cell. And there's, there, one is, um, the basal cell will become that receptor cell. Okay, it will become that chemoreceptor that receives the smell. The other thing that you can't see that well some slides you'll see a little bit better, but right underneath it, you'll see some simple cuboidal. That's the glands. Uh, they're called Bowman's glands, or um, I think just olfactory glands that are making mucus. Okay, so that's the other thing that you might want to see on that slide. Okay. And we're going to move on. I just wanted to show you kind of where we're going to be talking about now. We're going to move on to the ear. We're going to look at um, we're going to slice open the, the cochlea, okay? We're going to look at a cross-section of the cochlea histologically, okay? So a couple different things. First, I'm going to show you. So this is a cross-section of that snail shell, the cochlea. So here's one cross-section, here's another cross-section. Because it's spiraling around, you're going to see a lot of these cross section. So I'm going to, we're going to break this slide down, but this is actually what it would look like. So we'll come back to this, what it actually would look like. So we're going to go to here and just look at one of that, of the spirals. Okay. And so you've got a couple things you want to find. You want to find the vestibular duct. We help, we welcome to call it this, scalar vestibular. Um, the vestibular duct, the tympanic duct, and the cochlear duct, okay? So there, there are three, these three ducts that you wanna find. How do you find them? Well, the one great thing that you're gonna see here is there will be this membrane. This is the vestibular membrane. And you're gonna see this membrane, it's gonna be kind of on an angle. That tells you that you are right near the vestibular duct. It's gonna be nice and big. And below it will be a smaller cochlear duct. Tympanic doesn't have that. That's how we're going to tell these three ducts apart because there will be a bunch of them and I'll, I'll give you a little test. With the cochlear duct, inside the cochlear duct, this is called the spiral organ. This is where hearing takes place. Okay, so we actually are going to blow this up and look at it now. Okay. Uh, also on this slide, you would want to know that this duct carries perilymph, the cochlear duct carries endolymph, and the tympanic duct carries perilymph. So it's perilymph, perilymph, and endolymph, okay? So let's look at the spiral or an organ of Corti and then I'll give you a little quiz, okay? So here's the spiral organ blown up, okay? Here's the vestibular membrane. Let's get ourselves oriented. We're gonna be able to see this membrane on the next slide. So there it is right there. And here's the little spiral organ. Okay, and from this, you're going to, there's a few things that you're going to want to know. You're in the cochlear duct, 
so you'll be able to see the cochlear duct. Remember that has endolymph. And then this membrane right here, it often looks like it has like a little spiral at the end. It's kind of cute. That's the tectorial membrane. Okay, that's the tectorial membrane. The other thing that you can see are hair cells. So they'll look like they're gonna come up and actually hit this tectorial. Sometimes you can see little villi coming up. So the hair cells you wanna know. Last thing is the basilar membrane. That's down here. Lots of membranes right there. So the basilar membrane's under the hair cells. Tectorial membrane's right over the hair cells. And the vestibular membrane is way up here. And that is what differentiates the cochlear duct from the vestibular duct. All right, now I'm gonna do a quiz for you. So check this out. Okay, my friends, how do I know, here I am, I'm looking at this thing right here. How do I know where I am? See if you can figure it out. Because these aren't, you know, it's not always easy. What are you gonna look for first? What are you gonna look for first? Do you see it? Okay. So you might see the spiral organ, that'll tell you, oh, hey, I'm, I have to be in the cochlear duct. But you also might want to use the vestibular membrane, okay? So find your spiral organ or find your vestibular membrane. That means that this has to be which duct? That has to be the cochlear duct, okay? And this has to be the vestibular duct, and this has to be the tympanic duct. Let's do it over here. Because sometimes, sometimes they're big, sometimes they're small. Okay, let's do it over here. So, Vestibular duct, sorry, vestibular membrane is here. Can you see the little spiral organ? What does this, then what does this have to be? That's your cochlear, okay? Filled with endo. That means up here has to be vestibular duct and down below has to be tympanic. So you, you know, on the model, it looks like the tympanic's really big, but depending on the cut, that's not always the case, okay? It can be a different shape be some weird shape like this is this is tympanic here see how the shape is a little different depending on that how good that cross section is okay so make sure you go through those uh eyeball we're going to look at the eyeball for a second so we have two slides here this is eye monkey yours is not stained as well but what you want to do is you're going to move once you get this it'll actually be really large like this so Go ahead and go into 10x, and you want to look at the different parts, okay? And that's what we've done. We're actually going to take this right here, this spot right here, and we're going to move it over here and lower that into um, 10 or 40x, okay? So from here, we can see over here, this is actually going to be choroid or vascular layer, and then we have the ciliary body. So again, we're looking here. So ciliary body is here, okay? These are little ciliary processes coming out, okay? You won't, you won't be able to see the, uh, the suspensory ligaments, but then right next to it is gonna be the lens, and there'll be a long structure, right? This much bigger long structure, this is the iris, okay? A lot of times it's actually brown all the way through. You'll see brown all the way through, okay? So that's up here. The other place we can look is we could take a cross section right here and look and see the retina. So that's what we're gonna do on the next slide. Maybe, okay? So we're gonna take a look, we're taking a cross section. And when we take, when we take that cross section, what we wanna do is we're gonna look from the, from the light side all the way through. And we wanna find three layers of cells. So first cells, they're gonna be very lightly stained. It's mostly axons. That's what we're seeing. So ganglion cells, next is bipolar. Rods and cones, photoreceptor cells, it's gonna look really thick. And then a nice dark black, that's your pigmented epithelium. Okay. So those are the layers. Ganglion, bipolar, rods and cones, and pigment, okay? So that's another thing you wanna take a look at. I might have another slide of that. So definitely take a look at this slide. All right. So here's another, we're going to the ear again. Here's another spiral organ. There's your tectorial membrane, okay? This is vestibular membrane. So if I'm seeing these both, that means I'm in the cochlear duct. And that's endo. All right, and then the little hair cells are gonna be down below. Okay, 
Okay? So that's your spiral orbit. Make sure we look through those. There's your eye monkey. This is not a great slide of olfactory epithelium, but it's got PCCE. Let me make it a little bit smaller so it's a little bit better. PCCE, there's the shag up on the top. Those, that's the, um, the, the hairs, the microvilli of the receptor cells, okay? And then the last one we talked about, those cross sections and being able to name those ducts in the cochlea, okay? So the vestibular duct, cochlear duct, and tympanic duct. Okay, I think that sets you off.